Okay, the faculty we're going to deal with is referred to as Ajna in the Sanskrit language. I don't know what it is in the Kemetic language. I don't want to get into too many languages until we understand what we're talking about. Then we can have the luxury of making this antiquity of comparison in terms of language. Uh, it tends to distract us. We're not talking about the word. We're talking about the faculty. We're not really talking about the faculty. We're really talking about power. That's our major concern. And essentially, the work is not to, have, to find out how much you know about the faculty, but how much power you can get through that faculty to go to work for you now. That, that's the goal. Okay, it doesn't matter if you don't have, understand the whole business of chakras and, and uh, glands. Can you raise your consciousness so this power can work through you to perfect your life and grant you the success that you're supposed to have because you are who you are? that you were born to succeed. Failure is a misunderstanding of your own nature. It has nothing to do with God's punishment, with as to whether the white boy likes you or don't like you. It has nothing to do with that. If you are powerless, a mouse can take you off. But if you are powerful, another God can do a thing to you. That that's your natural status. That's what we need to know. We don't need to get into the problem of comparative dualities. What's better than this? What's worse than that? That, that doesn't gain power. Our major key in the acquiescence, the bidding for power, is divine love. I, I don't want to see any of you with God's power and no love in your heart. It, it makes you a monster. That's the difference between the good Lord and the damn devil. And he's got power too, but he don't love nobody. <laughs> no, I ain't for that. Okay.